when I graduated from the University of Toronto in science, I had a gold medal in mathematics and physics, and I was amazed to discover that I didn't even know nuclear power plants produced nuclear waste, nor how dangerous it was. The fact is, nobody knew because the industry never told anybody that this was a major unsolved problem. So billions of dollars were spent and reactors were built without informing the decision makers that the waste problem was going to outlast the reactors by millions of years. It was only in the mid-1970s that several reports came out that documented the dangers of the nuclear waste. One of them was here in Ontario. The Ontario Royal Commission on Electric Power Planning had a report called A Race Against Time in 1978, and it was all about nuclear power. And it said that if they can't solve this waste problem by 1985 or 1990 at the latest, they should be no more nuclear power. Here we are, many decades later, they do not have a solution to the problem. First of all, they didn't tell us there was a problem. Then they told us that it was not a real problem because they knew what to do with it. Now we find out that they really do not know what to do with this waste. The time has run out. It's time for the nuclear industry to fold its tent and uh, stop producing more of this waste. As the Royal Commission report in 1978 said, a single fuel bundle taken out of the reactor after operating in there uh, would kill any human being a meter away within 20 seconds. It would give a lethal dose of radiation. These things will never be handled by human hands again, but only by robots. Why is that? It's because inside the fuel is uranium atoms that have been chopped up or split and the broken pieces of the uranium atoms are highly unstable and extremely radioactive. And in fact, it's that heat from radioactivity that cannot be shut off that caused the meltdowns at Fukushima and at Chernobyl and Three Mile Island, and that could happen in a Canadian reactor as well. Now, in Ontario, we have a situation where the high-level radioactive waste, the irradiated fuel, is perched on a, a jut of land right out into Lake Ontario uh, where if there was a plane crash, an earthquake, or any kind of disaster, um, that would be detrimental to the entire lake. In fact, the Royal Commission report back in 78 did a calculation. They said that you would need seven times the amount of water in Lake Ontario to dilute just one of these uh, years production, one year's production of nuclear waste from one Kandu reactor you need seven times the volume of Lake Ontario to dilute it down to the maximum permissible level of radioactive contamination of drinking water. That's amazing. And it explains why uh, the efforts to solve this problem of nuclear waste have been so difficult. Because 99.99% perfection is simply not good enough. In Germany, they built two deep underground repositories for nuclear waste of a, of a lesser kind called intermediate level waste, and both of those repositories have failed. In fact, in one case, the radioactivity was leaking for 10 years before the authorities, the nuclear authorities, even told anybody about it. The reason why? They had a conflict of interest. They thought of it as a PR problem. They said, if we tell people it's leaking, they're gonna lose confidence in nuclear power. So we have a problem here that has to be dealt with, and it has to be separated from the continuation of nuclear power. We should stop producing the waste, and we should put people in charge of the waste who are really concerned only about protecting the environment and protecting human health. And they should certainly pull those wastes back onto dry land away from Lake Ontario and make sure that these wastes are hardened on-site storage, which means that they could resist a plane crash, a terrorist attack, or anything of that nature. Because such an event could be catastrophic to the surroundings and even to the entire city of Toronto. I would like to point out that the actual end of lifetime for the Pickering reactors has already expired. They were supposed to be permanently shut down some years ago. They've extended the lifetime first till 2018 and then to 2024. Well, it's time for people to stand up and say, no, you're rolling the dice and one of these days snake eyes is gonna come up and we're gonna pay the consequences.